Hi everyone, my name is Elisa Levet and I'm a developer advocate here at Zoom. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about webhooks. As you might know, Zoom utilizes webhooks as a medium to notify third-party applications about events that occur in a Zoom account. So instead of making repeated calls to pull data from the Zoom API, you can use webhooks as a solution to get information on specific events that happen in a Zoom account. So think about this real life example. Let's say that every night before you go to bed, you set up an alarm for six in the morning and you know that this alarm will for sure go off at six. So instead of waking up in the middle of the night multiple times to check the time, like making an API call, you can just sleep tight knowing that an alarm will wake you up when it's time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a webhook only app in the Zoom marketplace, how to subscribe to events, how to validate your event notification URL endpoint, and lastly, how to verify event notifications sent by Zoom. I'm going to be using one of our sample apps that is available on GitHub, and I will leave the link to the app on the description of the video. Let's get started. Once you're logged in in the Zoom Marketplace, we're going to click on Develop and we're going to build an app. We're going to click on Create on the Webhook Only app type. And we're going to give our app a name. As you can see, you will need to fill up some basic information, developer contact information, and so on. To save some time, I've already set up a app on my account. But uh, if you're creating your, uh, your own app, you will need to fill up that with some basic information, such as your name, the company name, your email, and some optional links. Let's go to the Featured tab. As you can see, we have two values available here. The first one is a secret token that Zoom will send in each event notification that it sent to our applications. We also have a value of a verification token that we're gonna not we're not gonna use on this video because as you can see it's gonna retire it's in October 2023 so we don't want to use it anymore. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enable event subscriptions on my application and I'm gonna create a new event subscription. I'm gonna name it meetings event and I'm gonna add a couple of events. For example, meeting has been created, updated, and deleted. Now, what we need to do next is that we need to provide a secure HTTPS URL in order to Zoom to be able to send events to it. And in this case, I'm going to be use Ngrok. So if you're not familiar with it, Ngrok is a platform that enables you to expose a local development server to the internet in a secure and easy way creating secure tunnels from the open web to your web apps and tools. Uh, that being said, I already have Ngrok up, up and running on my uh, computer. So I'm just gonna grab my HTTPS endpoint and I'm gonna paste it here, followed by the webhook path as it is required in the sample app that I'm gonna be using. So before clicking on validate, let's head to the sample app that we're going to work with, um, set it up so we can run it and then we're, we'll come back to the Zoom marketplace. So here we have a our sample app. I've already cloned it from GitHub and installed all the dependencies. We're going to be working with this little express app. So we're going to build a route that we need in order to receive uh, Zoom events. So according to our docs, in order to verify that every event are, uh, is coming from Zoom, we need to construct a message. We need to construct a message. Then create a hash. And lastly, a signature that we're going to compare with the signature in the request headers sent by Zoom. So 
once we have that and we can validate and verify that the event is coming from Zoom, we're just going to validate our endpoint URL. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to declare a variable here and I'm going to name it response that I'm going to be using later to send information back to Zoom. So to verify that the event is coming from Zoom, I am going to create a message. So this is going to be my first step here. Let me move this uh, note up here. So we need to construct a message, right? Using the timestamps in our requests and the request body. So with the timestamps in my request headers and the request body of the event that we're receiving, we're just going to construct a message. Then that later we are going to hash. We're going to create the SHA-256 hash that we're going to be using our webhook secret token that I previously inputted in my .m file. So we're going to be grabbing our secret token from my, our .m file, and we're going to set up as our salt and secret, and we're going to use the message we constructed as a string to hash. Lastly, we're just going to create a signature by prepending the value v0 equals to the hash we just created. Now, the next thing that we need to do is that we're going to create a, an if statement here that we're going to compare the value of our signature with the values of the signature coming from the Zoom headers. If this value matches, then we are going to go ahead and write some more logic here. If not, we are just going to say that it's an authorized request. Uh, and that's it. So remember, for every event that we, went, that we get from Zoom, we need to verify that it is indeed coming from Zoom. So this is the way to do so. We're going to grab the timestamps, the timestamp from the headers. We're going to construct a message that then we're going to hash using the secret token coming from Zoom. And lastly, we're just going to build the signature. If the signature matches the request headers, then we can safely say that the event is coming from Zoom. If not, we're just going to say that it's an unauthorized request to our sample lab. Now, we need to do another check. And this one is in order to validate our endpoint URL. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to check for the event in uh, the request we're getting from Zoom, right? So if the value of this event is endpoint URL validation, we're going to fall into this if statement. And if not, it means that uh, it's any other event. For example, message has been created or message has been updated, a meeting has been created, excuse me, or updated or um, deleted. And we're just going to receive and do whatever we want to do with our event. So when are we going to get this value of endpoint URL validation? This is actually gonna get triggered when we manually validate our URL in the Zoom marketplace. So Zoom is gonna send us a challenge request that is gonna have a value of a plain token that then we're gonna use to hash using our Zoom webhook secret token. And we're gonna create a challenge response that we will send back to Zoom. So this is going to look like this. We're going to grab the value of the Zoom webhook secret token again, and the value of a plain token that it's going to be sent by Zoom when we click on validate the endpoint URL. So we need to send back a response to Zoom 
within three seconds to validate our endpoint URL. So we're going to construct a JSON object with two key pair values. The first one, or the first key is our plain token, that it's basically the value of the plain token sent by Zoom, payload plain token, and another key with the value of our encrypted token. And we're going to pass here the value that we just uh, created. We also need to send a status 200 here. And let's send that to Zoom. So let's review our code real quick. So we're gonna work, we're working with a post request where we're going to construct a message to then hash and build a signature to compare it with the value of the signature included in the headers of every, every Zoom uh, event that is coming to our endpoint. If the value of the signature we generated matches the one in our headers, we're going to now check if the event that is coming our way is the endpoint validation URL. If it's the endpoint validation URL, it means that we need to send a JSON object as a challenge response to Zoom in order to validate our endpoint URL. If it is not the endpoint URL validation event, then we're just going to start receiving other events because we are now sure that the events are coming from Zoom after checking if our generated signature matches the one in the headers. So before running our application, I want to throw a couple of um, console logs on in my app so we can see what's actually going on. So I want to print the request body and the request headers so we can see what we're getting. And I also want to print the value of the generated signature. I want to do this so we can see in the terminal the value of the signature we generated compared with the one that we're going to get in our headers. And lastly, I also want to print the challenge response we are going to send back to Zoom because um, this way we can see how it looks like. So our application now is ready. We have Ngrok up and running. Now we just need to run our app. NPM run start. And our app is listening, is successfully running on port 3000. So let's head to our Zoom marketplace. And what I'm what it's going to happen next is that I'm going to click on validate. So this will manually trigger the endpoint validation URL. And we're going to receive a uh, challenge re request from Zoom. So let's validate this. Oh, my validation failed. Let's see what, what happened. Okay, we probably have a typo. Let's let's look into our code. Okay, yes, we have a little message here, a little typo here. Let's um let's fix this and let's go back to the let's click on validate. So this is a great example of uh when you try to validate your endpoint and it fails. So let's try again. Okay, it's failing. Hmm. Our signature matches, right? So I think I just need to run my app again. Let me close this. Let's try again. Perfect. So this time we successfully validated our endpoint. I'm glad we saw that error. So that is uh, when you have any errors on your sample app, on your logic, or even a typo, right? That will prevent you from validating your endpoint URL.
This time it was successful. So let's look at the terminal. So before doing that, let me save this and click on continue. So our app is activated on the account. So now we're ready to start receiving events from Zoom. So what I wanna do next is show you what happened here. So when we manually trigger the endpoint validation URL, Zoom send us, sent us a request body with the value of a plain token, times an event timestamp, and an event of endpoint URL validation. They also, Zoom also sent us some headers with uh, some values here. And if you look closely, the value of our signature here that is coming from Zoom actually matches that the one that we generated. And lastly, here's a challenge response that we created with the value of our plain token. That is the one we received from Zoom and also the value of our encrypted, encrypted token. So what basically happened here is that we were listening for a post request from Zoom and we checked if the signature that we generated matched the one in the headers. As it did, then we fell into this if statement because our uh, app received the request body with the value of endpoint URL validation. Now, what I want to do next is just trigger another event on my uh, Zoom account so you can see how another event is going to be successfully um, received on our sample app, and that is going to be it. So I'm going to be creating a meeting since that's one of the events that we generated, that we added to our event subscription in the marketplace. We're going to save it. And I'm expecting to receive that event on my terminal. And I did. So I got a meeting created event with a value of a payload, as well as the headers with the value of a signature. And I'm printing here on the terminal the generated si signature that it indeed matches the one from the headers. As you can see, this time we didn't get a plain token value and we didn't print the challenge response we created because as our endpoint was already validated, we instantly fell, uh, we instantly got into this else statement where we uh, just verified that the event was coming from Zoom and it was, and we just printed that uh, event. So that's it from me. Thank you for following along and happy coding.